Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part, and this way will actually be easier. I'm going to leave the other video on just because uh, you could actually use it for other items besides the clock face. But I And I still think there's a way you could blend the numbers around and then change the numbers in the blend tool, but yet I have not figured it out. Um, so we're going to blend these little circles around here. Um, little eclipses they're not very big at all but you don't need them very big I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so we can see this but I'm going to um, use the blend tool to distribute these around and, and there's kind of a trick to it so I thought I'd share it um, go under effects go to the blend tool now here's here's one of the tips you need 12 circles Okay, don't type in 12 because you'll get 14. You've already got two, so you only want 10. Hit apply. Then go to new path and click on there. Put it on the path. The inside, I'm doing an internal circle. Blend along full path and press, press apply. Now, I don't really know how Corel does it, but it puts it correctly where it needs to to be, uh, you know, doesn't just blend them in any random order. They're, they're right where they need to be. And then you can take your numbers and you could actually, let's do this. Select them all, break the five objects apart so you can get rid of this line just so it won't just, uh, interfere. Now, when you click on an item, you can drag it from out here, but always drag it from the center part and here we go with quadrant right there. It's in the center. Drag it from the center part, quadrant right there. It's dead. You know, like I, if you have watched the other video, I stated that somebody was watching another person's video and they, they were doing kind of this, but they were just saying, well, just get it close. Um, close doesn't work in clock. Uh, it's a you know instrument of telling time and and of uh, the digital age you know uh, you know when you ask somebody with a digital watch you ask them what time it is and they give you you know 11:35 or 11:36 and a half you know uh, analog clocks not that uh, particular but now you need to get rid of these you don't really, if you're going to run this clock, you really don't have to get rid of those circles. But you can definitely get rid of them very easily. And um, they are cut lines right now, but if you were going to cut this clock out, and I do have a video on that, you can just select that one and that one and cut it. And then run a raster and not have these selected. But they'd be very easily um, removed because they're not connected to anything. They're just floating out there. Matter of fact, you only had to delete a couple of them because the rest were in a blend. These two were the starting and stopping point, and these were in a blend. So they, they were easily removed. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.